Good afternoon. Our order of service for noonday prayer can be found in your digital bulletin or beginning on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm today is a portion of Psalm 42, found in your bulletin or on page 643 of the prayer book. Let us read together verses 1 through 7. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, a thirst for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where now is your God? I pour out my soul when I think on these things, how I went with the multitude and led them into the house of God. With the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who keep holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 11 through 18. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told him, and she told them that he had said these things to her. Thanks be to God. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Mary Magdalene. Mary of Magdala, near Capernaum, was one of several women who followed Jesus and ministered to him in Galilee. The Gospel according to Luke records that Jesus went on through cities and villages, preaching and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him, and also some women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. The Gospels tell us that Mary was healed by Jesus, followed him, and was one of those who stood near his cross at Calvary. It is clear that Mary Magdalene's life was radically changed by Jesus' healing. Her ministry of service and steadfast companionship, even as a witness to the crucifixion, has, through the centuries, been an example of the faithful ministry of women to Christ. All four Gospels name Mary as one of the women who went to the tomb to mourn and to care for Jesus' body. Her weeping for the loss of her Lord strikes a common chord with the grief of all others over the death of loved ones. Jesus' tender response to her grief, meeting her in the garden, revealing himself to her by calling her name, makes her the first witness to the risen Lord. She is given the command, Go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. As the first messenger of the resurrection, she tells the disciples, I have seen the Lord. In the tradition of the Eastern Church, Mary is regarded as the equal of an apostle, 
and she is held in veneration as the patron saint of the great cluster of monasteries on Mount Athos. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose blessed Son restored Mary Magdalene to health of body and of mind, and called her to be a witness of his resurrection, mercifully grant that by your grace we may be healed from all our infirmities and know you in the power of his unending life, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. I invite your own prayers of intercession and thanksgiving at this time. Let us bless the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.